friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorites for January and I was going to say oh, another favorites video but to be honest I have never been consistent with these and this is one of the videos this year that I'm going to be doing every single month just like my cinema light box video. So it's one of those pieces of content that at least I know if I do the bare minimum that month because things are busy, this is one of the things that I'm going to accomplish. I love watching these videos. I was recently watching the Anna Edit do hers and Elena Rama do hers, or Elena Davison do hers, and I just really love watching what people are loving and what they can truly stand behind, and it's nice because oftentimes these videos are not sponsored. Even if there's a sponsored piece of content in there, usually it's genuinely something that people use month to month. I do have to tell you, I talk in front of the camera all the time, but for some reason getting up and getting ready for this video is kind of hard. I don't know why, because I think just sitting and talking to camera is a little bit intimidating. And um, though I do that every single day, it's just such a different topic. And this is now kind of subjective to what I want to talk about. And it's free flowing and it's anything that's coming out of my mind kind of thing. So I've got to tell you, if you guys are intimidated to sit in front of camera, start your YouTube channel, do an Instagram story, even if someone looks so confident in it, there's always that little moment of like walking the washroom, rebrushing your hair, checking your makeup, kind of walking back, maybe reframing all of these other things. And you're not sitting alone in that. But I want to get right into my favorites for this month of January. Now, because I haven't been a consistent favorites video person on YouTube yet, this year it's all happening, I wanted to show you a couple of my favorites that are like my cult favorites for January. So like these are the things that I use every single day or almost every single day and I've been using for a really long time. So these are my cult favorites and I want to start out with two products that I have been using for years. I'm going to start first with my perfume. So this is the Turquatic perfume from MAC. I'm so sad to say that they actually stopped selling this in store. What the heck? And the new perfumes they have in there. Oh my God. I was in the airport with my friend Sarah and I was like, you have to smell these perfumes. They are horrendous. Like they stink. They smell so bad. But this one is such a gem. I love it so much. I've been wearing it literally since high school and you can order it online. My mom's gonna be dropping off a package today. I'm pretty sure it's that because I sometimes send mail to my parents' house still. Classic. And um, it just smells so good. It kind of has that maybe Abercrombie effect, but also really, really fresh. And because I've been wearing it ever since high school, I literally have people come up and when they hug me, they're like, oh, it smells like Amanda, you know? And my mom has always been like that too. She wears what's it called? Obsessions. And now when I smell it, I always think of her. So I really love this scent. How it says is 50 mill milliliters. Lasts me a pretty long time. And it's one of those perfumes as well that you put on and you personally stop smelling. I hate when you put on a super strong perfume and all day you're just smelling it yourself. Like I feel like it shouldn't be overpowering your clothing. So this is my first favorite, Turquatic by MAC. You will forever be my cult favorite and every single time I stray to a different perfume I just don't fully feel like myself. Another cult favorite of mine, you guys know if you follow me on social media, that I do love Mary Kay. Like I feel like they are rebranding in a great way and this was the first product that I was ever introduced to Mary Kay through my mom. Their makeup remover is like the only thing that is gonna help you get off waterproof mascara. Now, I do not wear waterproof mascara often. I'm gonna show you my two absolute favorite mascaras in just a second. But the Mary Kay makeup remover is the best makeup remover, hands down, I've ever had in my entire life. And I have strayed from using this before using wipes, trying other makeup remover, and honestly, nothing will ever, ever surpass the power and as well the gentle quality of this makeup remover. You can order it online or even if you have a Mary Kay person, salesperson in your neighborhood, my mom often will just order a whole bunch of them and I'll just pay her back for it. I believe they're around $20 and this thing will last you so long and it is like the best thing ever. Whenever I'm removing my makeup, you always watch those commercials where they go like this and it just perfectly removes. This is literally this makeup remover. 
I want to continue on with skincare just before I get into another couple of makeup products. The Biotherm Life Plankton Elixir. Now I ended up getting this through an event and that's why I inscribed on it. It says, Amanda, I'm going to show you close up. But their claim to fame was basically that it only takes eight days to change your skin. And this is the one of a couple of skincare products that if a friend is having trouble with their skin, I always recommend this one. Basically the idea is life plankton behind it, found in a cave, something like that along the story and it ended up really helping the properties of the skin of the people there and other health benefits. And they managed to figure out how to do this in the lab. But this product has honestly changed my skin. I've been lucky. I've always really had kind of clear skin except for just typical teen stuff and then whenever I have my period I'll always get like a couple of pimples or blemishes or just like friends along the way but this serum is a smells great b goes on wonderful c I use it day and night and I can tell that my skin is a little bit more even, smooth, and just overall happy because I feel like I'm giving it the nutrients it needs. And this bottle as well has lasted me a really long time. So that's another thing that I always look at when I'm talking about skincare is like, if something costs a lot of money, really helps you, but only lasts like such a short period of time, there's gotta be a better solution to that product. There's gotta be a dupe that kind of is similar to it that's not gonna cost you as much money. I love that Biotherum serum and just the way that it feels overall on my skin and it's always one of my number one suggestions. So moving on to more of a makeup theme. These are my cult favorites when it comes to mascara and any other mascara that I've ever tried outside of this doesn't match up. Now I want to say if I was talking um, drugstore brand, I would probably go L'Oreal Voluminous. That's always a cult favorite across the board. But when it comes to the mascara that I use every single day, it's these two. So the False Lashes Extreme Black by MAC. I absolutely love this one. It comes off pretty well with water only. And then you use your Mary Kay Makeup Remover, you know all of that is gone. Um, I can always tell because I have like blonde eyelashes. They pretty much go clear when I don't have makeup on them. So as soon as makeup is gone, I will know. Uh, it separates my lashes beautifully whenever I've had it on my face and I do an Instagram story I so often get girls asking me what mascara to use I use it today as well so this is what it looks like on and this is the one that I wear to work because we have a connection with Mac so we get some Mac products for free just with this little budget through work so I always order this one and it lasts me a pretty long time. I love the separating quality, I love the formula. The only thing about this is when you do take it off you will end up getting like little black goops in your eyes that kind of take a little while to get out but nonetheless I really do love that formula and it dries really well and it does not flake. The other one that is my absolute cult favorite and the only reason why I'm not using it is because I'm out of it currently is the Climax Mascara from NARS. Guys if you have not tried this mascara and you are looking for voluminous lashes that look light and fluffy this is the mascara you have to get. It doesn't flake, it comes off well and as well the fluffy fluffy brush is like just so beautiful. I only, I guess the only downfall to these mascaras is maybe they're a little bit more expensive, but if you take care of your brushes and you constantly kind of take off that product before applying it to your lashes every single day, it's going to last you a really long time and you're going to be really happy with it. So fluffy brush, this NARS Climax mascara, you have got to try it. I have been trying my best to get better at doing my eyebrows and the Precisely My Brow by Benefit has been a girl's best friend. So learning along the way, putting on that makeup, uh, then using the spoolie to kind of push out the makeup that you do not need, make sure you have that great shape. I was using a 2.5, now I use the 3 because I found that going down into a darker shade actually helped my face be framed a little bit better, it looked even more natural on me, so finding that right color is really great. These last a pretty long time, but I usually pair it with an Anastasia brow pot because then I can kind of fill them in and then this will allow me to add those little hair flares. My friend Sarah when we were in Mexico she helped me redo my eyebrows like a pro and I was shooketh to the core. 
because I looked so different. If you are currently not using any brow products, trust me, now when I do my makeup, even though I have like see-through eyelashes, if I were to choose one makeup product that I could take with me to a desert island or to fashion week and I wasn't allowed to wear any other makeup, it would definitely be a brow product. So this is my second purchase of the Benefit Precisely My Brow and though that may not seem like a cult favor because usually those are like, this is my 10th purchase or whatever, I have just been slowly learning more about brow products. So that one I highly recommend and it is a huge favorite for a lot of people across the YouTube space. Today I'm wearing Blanky. It is Amplified Cream Lipstick. Um, for nude lipstick, I used to wear creme de nude sometimes, but that is just like so nude. If you know which shade I'm talking about from MAC, you definitely know what I'm talking about when it comes to how light that one is. I like this one just as a quick neutral and basically the cult favorite aspect of this is that I like the amplified cream lipsticks from MAC versus the matte lipsticks just because I feel like they dry you out so much and with winter nobody wants to be drier than they need to be on a daily basis. For eyes, continuing on, this is my last makeup piece for this favorites video and it is a little bit cringy you guys. So this is my toasted palette, look at the front of it, it is <laughs> destroyed and I'm not going to open it up for you, I'm just going to show you a picture right here because a few of the pieces in there are broken so I need to fix that. I know a lot of people have been saying if you put rubbing alcohol in there you mix it up and it will end up setting really nicely and then you can use it again. I will try and there are a couple in here that are actually all gone. This toasted palette so funny when you are working in the blogging space you're trying to get noticed by brands and all this stuff. I've had this palette for a while. I honestly because I've had it so long, I should probably just toss it and throw and uh, purchase a new one. I would definitely repurchase this palette. It's got all of the warm tones in it that I love, and I do love adding a bit of extra sparkle, especially when I'm at work. Just the inner corners or even just that outer shade just to line your lid. This one has been wonderful because the warm tones really complement the blue in my eyes, and I find that these colors as well complement brown eyes and hazel eyes and green eyes and everyone's eyes really, really well. Um, back to getting noticed by brands. When I went to Dubai in February of 2018, I was like, oh my God, I got this new palette. It's called Toasted. This is so cool. I'm going to bring it to the Dubai desert and take such a cool pick with it. And then Tarte will finally notice me. And this was when I was just like still a little baby blogger and, uh, they didn't notice it. I feel like I'm going to have to go check in my Insta to see if they did like it. But anyways... I was a little bit mad at that. I was sad that they didn't notice, but that is just a testament to how long I've been using it. I thought it was cool. <laughs> you know when you're just like trying to be cool, but you just are so clearly not cool? That is me on a daily basis. One of the brands that I've been working with for a while, and working with is kind of a loose term, like they will send me some products and they are just such lovely humans. It's from Love Rochelle. So these are obviously tights but the thing that's special about them is they have like cute patterns on them so this one is a polka dot one I love wearing them at work I love wearing them at Marley's games tights always make you a little bit warmer if you are wearing a dress of course and maybe it's a bit more appropriate as well but this company I'll show you a couple of options right here but they have really really cute leggings in different patterns and it just makes wearing leggings so much more fun they have one that even has a line down the back and these little hearts which I really love and just the women that work at this store are just so lovely I believe they're from Montreal and so I wanted to give them a shout out because it's not like a paid thing or anything like that but they reached out and I have been in love with their brand ever since. One of the things that I always wanted to add into my monthly favorites was a note to be present. And a note to be present in this one that I have been loving for the past little bit, especially with Scotty now getting his film cameras, is bringing disposable cameras places. Today, I'm so pumped. Today, Scott and I get to go pick up a couple of cameras that we were shooting with. And the thing that kind of warms my heart is that 
I don't remember what's on there. Like I remember a couple of events like going to BC or in Australia even I took a couple but I genuinely don't remember what photos I took so it's gonna be really really cool to just go back and see some of those photos and be like oh I totally forgot that we took a photo there and that's so cool and my fingers are crossed because I just really hope that they turn out and they're not super overexposed or anything like that but I would say if you guys are looking for finding a present moment, thinking about creating, thinking about um, taking photos, composition, lighting, all these things, get yourself a disposable camera and just have it in your bag because you never know when you want to just snap a shot and then it will just be such a great thing to have it in that copy form. We get them digitized so hopefully maybe I'll be able to add them, some of them in here. If not, I'll add them into my next favorite videos, I promise. That tart palette just like peed all over this dare to lead book. The last thing I want to say is um, maybe a little piece of a script for my favorites video every single month. I've been reading Dare to Lead by Brené Brown and she has been inspiring me so much and there's just a little passage that I want to read you guys because I find that this is something that I really need to focus on and start to work into my daily basis. So. This is the first My Favorites passage for My Favorites video in January. So, Daring to Lead Leadership, this is on page 106, Modeling and Supporting Rest, Play, and Recovery. The work of Dr. Stuart Brown, a psychiatrist, clinical researcher, and founder of the National Institute of Play, would argue that this lack of downtime and lack of play has a deleterious effect on our output in the office. In our desperate search for joy in our lives, we miss the memo. If we want to live a life of meaning and contribution, we have to become intentional about cultivating sleep and play. We have to let go of exhaustion, busyness, and productivity as symbols and measures of self-worth. We are impressing no one. What's more, according to Brown's research, play shapes our brain, fosters empathy, helps us navigate complex social groups, and is at the core of creativity and innovation. In some ways, it helps our overheated brain cool down. To weave this into office culture, leaders need to model appropriate boundaries by shutting off email at reasonable time and focusing on themselves and their family. Do not celebrate people who work through the weekend, who brag that they are tethered to their computers over Christmas break. Ultimately, it's unsustainable behavior and it has dangerous side effects, including burnout, depression, and anxiety. It also creates a culture of workaholic competitiveness that's detrimental for everyone. As Stuart Brown says, the opposite of play is not work. The opposite of play is depression. Ugh, oh, that piece just honestly caught me right in my tracks when I read it because sometimes I feel like I've been spinning my wheels and I want to talk more about that in future videos. But this is a favorite, so we're focusing on favorites. That's just a note to say, play this month. Figure out a moment to put everything down and take a second to yourself and just play. And maybe that's honestly just cleaning up your room while listening to a YouTube video like that. That's another goal that I have for this space is that you'll just put this on when maybe you're putting on your makeup just to have someone there with you and I am there with you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I can't wait to be making more of these favorites videos and as every single YouTuber out there will say, there is more coming in future videos. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you get all the notifications because I will try to stick to a schedule, but I will probably be a sporadic poster for the next little bit until I really sort out what my routine is going to be. Love you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!